Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Trailmakers. Yes, it's been a while since I've played this game, but there's been a brand new update with a whole heap of new stuff. Now, I'll probably be playing some of that on Twitch, so check out my stream archive or my Twitch channel if you want to see any of that stuff. But yeah, there's loads of new stuff to build with and a lot of them are based around like flight. So we've got like different helicopter blade balloons, which I think are new. Uh, there's now weapons like mini guns and cannons and all sorts. And there's lots of like airliner stuff. So we've got airplane windows. You've got a large jet now as well and tell you what looking at these large jets power 800 perhaps we could break our speed record because we used these dragon jets before which the powers were 300 oh we might have to have a go with those we interrupt this program for an important news announcement this video is sponsored by ridge wallet and there's now a limited edition wallet that they've just launched with travis matthew inspired by southern california's surf sand and sun there's three brand new designs available with Travis Matthews signature patterns on Ridge's flagship wallet. These are limited edition and distributed in both Ridge stores, online, and at over 30 Travis Matthews retail locations. Head to ridge.com forward slash engineer and use code engineer for 10% off. That's ridge.com forward slash engineer. Thanks to Ridge for supporting the channel, but let's get back to today's video. So let's check out this new large cockpit. Now, it looks very helicopterish. Uh, then we'll put these airliner windows down. Do we have some sort of roof block? I mean, yeah, if we use the rounded two by four, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that goes on the roof nicely. So we'll just copy a couple of these about. We'll then copy them down here and then just fill the gaps in like that. All right, so that's looking pretty passenger plane like. You can add these new landing wheels under the front. Oh man, there's so many types of wing. This is awesome. So let's turn on mirror mode and then I can build all this out one side. So I think we want modular wing. Then we've got a flap wing, wing with integrated flap. So yeah, if we shove a couple of those next to it, that should give us the, the turning force that we need. Then back to the modular wing. So that looks pretty good for the wings. Let's get some engines under here. So large, yeah. Oh my goodness, they are absolutely monstrous. They were really not joking with how large they are. What is that all about? Right, I'll tell you what, we might have to grab these wings and move them up there. We'll then just move these windows down then move those there there you go so the <laughs> the engine's almost higher than the front let's just move that down yeah it's just how we get more wheels so they're gonna <laughs> we could have to go on like a stick or something like maybe we could get away with that at the back i feel like those engines they're gonna scrape though aren't they i don't know let's put a tail on this thing so we've got something like that at the back so i think i might move these engines forward a little bit well, and the wings. So that looks pretty good. Then we just want a tail fin. So we'll shove that on there. And then I think we want these elevator fins. I think I can shove those like that. So that actually looks very, very plainish. Uh, do I need to... I just click to configure. So if I want to take off, I want S to go up. So that's got to be red. Okay, so they're set up right. That one's the same. Wait, does this tail fin not have left and right? Oh, okay. Not entirely sure I'm going to go left and right then. What do these ones do? So Q makes the flap go down which should lift the wing. So Q would make me steer. I feel like that's what that wants to be an E, doesn't it? What's this one? Yes, yeah, so those ones are Q. Okay, so I think these ones, they want to be E's. All right, well, let's get in this thing. And <laughs> looks really small now I'm here. Look how small it is. I thought these engines were like huge. All right, well, let's take off. Oh my goodness, the power, the speed. Yeah, this really does fly. Fair play. Okay, the question is, can I, can I land this thing? So I want a bit of forward momentum. Not that much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, okay, not the most successful flight ever, but not the worst. Something I did notice, these these steering things, they're on toggle. We don't want those to toggle. We just want them to flap when we steer. So now if I do left, right, yeah, look at my wings flapping. Okay, that's exactly what I want. So I reckon time for a little speed test. Yeah, looks like we sort of cruise at about 150 miles an hour. Yeah, with our new wings, we can do corkscrews very nicely. Right, I'll try and do a more successful landing this time. Just dabbling the throttle. Yes, yes. No, there goes my engine. <laughs> okay, not bad though. No explosions. So we'll take that. Next up, the classic. What if we what if we add some more engines? <laughs> Look at it. Look how cool it looks. <laughs> 
<laughs> look at the engines. I'm not going to lie. I'm worried about the wheels. They look like they're going through the ground to me. Might be a bit weighty, but let's see. Oh my goodness, the power. The power. 200 miles an hour. So we've got four times as many engines. Oh man, it's very, very hard to steer. Oh wow, easy to do a backflip though. Look at that. Now actually, this thing flies really well. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is decent. Right, okay, let's try and land. <laughs> Quite a hard landing. <laughs> no, but I'm sort of tempted now. Can I get this so that we can copy these easily? So with mirror mode back on, if I were to copy those, will that leave a horrible gap? Oh, no, that's good. That's actually good. Okay, let's just keep adding engines and going wide. Look. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Oh, I don't know why I'm laughing so much. Anyway, oh my goodness, the speed. We're going straight up. Oh my, I'm not even steering. All right, pull back, pull back. Okay, well, somehow this is successful. <laughs> this is actually flying 260 miles an hour. Look at the engines. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry, Mr. Bad. I'm going to try and save you. Wait, what if I turn off the engines? There we go, there we go. All right, we're good. We're back, we're back. <laughs> Back in business. Look at all those engines. Uh, and the thing is, I'm pretty sure we can go wider. So let's try and again land this thing. Oh, that's not bad. That's actually my best landing yet. There were some flames that time, but that's fine. So let's just grab all of those and then copy. Yeah, that's getting close to the limit. 472 out of 700 pieces. I guess I can't copy again. Oh, I can copy again. I can't even see the middle of my plane, but that looks good. Look how long this thing is. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, anyway, we take off. Oh my, look at the wing. Oh my goodness. The wings were bouncing all over the place. So, boosh, full speed ahead. Oh no, what happened? What the, <laughs> where's the rest of my plane gone? I think I've just got to not pull up too quick. Oh no. It's like I'm doing, it's like I'm rowing. I'm in the Oxford Cambridge rowing race. Well, I did not think I'd be able to create a rowing machine, but I have. Anyway, approximate speed test, 200 ish. And then it all goes a little bit, a little bit funky in the air. Not gonna lie. Still good to know. Let's get back to the drawing board because I feel like we've done, we've done the widest plane now. Let's try and make the fastest plane. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna delete everything. We don't want anything, right? Okay, start from fresh. We know to go fast. We want the aerodynamic cockpit because it's super aerodynamic. Look, at the green lines. Look at them. Then we just need to work out how we're going to attach these engines for like the least amount of weight possible. Because ideally, you can see out the front, there's like the aerodynamics, they're not as good. You can see, you can see like on the cockpit, they're like the fast green ones. These are like slower yellowy green. So if we move this behind, you may think that's not as that's not as good because you're blocking the air intake. There's like a gap there, but the game doesn't actually recognize that. It just just looks at the number of those arrows. And now there's less arrows because it's all in a line. So that's actually good. Uh, the trouble is I can't actually connect that. But what I could do, if I rotate like that, then move up, I could connect the bottom quite easily or if i move if i move that down one i could block oh i could block out a lot of this actually yeah, if i move all of that down and come into the aerodynamic parts and if i use here we are the extremely aerodynamic block and you can see the lines on that look how fast they're moving they're just as aerodynamic as that cockpit i could put that underneath that blocks out the bottom ones as well and i'm pretty sure this game works like it doesn't matter what way these go as long as you've got those green arrows it's more aerodynamic so let's try and find a way to basically cover all of these all of these engines okay so that's good the downside is yes we are blocking the air intake but apparently that should be fine I am just assuming, actually, it might not be, but we will see. The trouble is, can you see the exclamation mark there? The block is not connected. Thankfully, there is a way to connect these without adding any bad aerodynamics to this. So yeah, I think we're going to use these hover blocks so that we, well, so that we hover. Now, the trouble is they don't have a, a block on top. So what we're going to have to do, are we going to have to change the orientation of that? I do just want to see first, though. Yeah, it falls over. So I think I need at least two lines of hover blocks. That means moving those that way, copying that way and then essentially making everything at the front a bit bigger so we just gotta move all those that way and then change the front but then for the engines how are we gonna attach these this is the main thing we gotta do now i mean if you're wondering why why am i using the hover blocks well there's no friction on these and you may remember a previous video i did where i completely smashed the land speed record by using hover blocks i mean i figure with with more powerful engines maybe we can go one step further and go even faster i think my record in that 
Yeah, I think we hit somewhere around 2,600 miles per hour. Uh, so it'd be good to see, can we actually beat that with these guys? Uh, but the main thing will be trying to come up with a way to attach these to the rest of the vehicle. I'm not going to lie, not entirely sure how I'm going to do that at the moment. Like we may, oh, we may have to go even wider. Yeah, okay, let's go one wider. So yeah, if we just shove a grid block down there, that should sort of glue everything together. Yeah, meaning the front is all super aerodynamic, except for those little gaps there, which I could fill in with little squares. But uh, I want to see first, does this actually, does this work? Yeah, look, it hovers, it hovers. We're front heavy, but that's, that's pretty standard. That's to be expected. So if we fire the jet engines. Oh, wow, look at the speed. Look at the speed. <laughs> so with just two engines, we're up to 374. 400 miles an hour. Oh no, we've taken off. We have taken off. That was not expected. Why did that happen? Okay, well, that's good to note. I feel like this could definitely be a success. So let's copy a couple more engines down. And then we just need like something in the middle to stick them all together. And I don't know what it's worth going for. Probably the fewest amount of parts. I could use these grid blocks because the weight is only 0.6 kilograms. But it's only a 1 by 4. So I'll probably need a lot of those. Ooh, although actually would I? Because I don't think I wouldn't need to completely fill it. Because if I just shove that all the way in to where it needs to go. So if I just copy that down. And then copy it back this way. Then yeah, that's all connected. There's no bad aerodynamics because there's nothing being blocked at the front. Okay, let's try this out. So, oh man, look at this thing. <laughs> look at this thing. I mean, I really don't understand. This is like the first person view, by the way. How can he see where he's going? I don't know. Shall we do? Let's do a speed test. So we're now traveling 300 miles an hour and you literally, you can't tell. Where actually are we? Oh, we've gone straight up. <laughs> we've gone straight up. This thing wasn't meant to fly. Why is it flying? Oh well, yeah, I don't know where we are in space, but we're at like, 590 nearly 600 miles an hour what i want to know if i copy that back bit does it stick together nicely oh it does thank you so much okay so let's copy a load of these so oh look at the speed already oh my goodness right we're gonna get a sonic boom we're gonna get a sonic boom ready there it is there's the sonic boom. oh we've taken off again no why do we keep taking off we are very, very close. There we go. We've hit a thousand miles per hour. I don't know where we are in space or time. <laughs> Do I need downforce? That is the question. I feel like that was something that was never actually a thing in this game. You could literally just fly forever. I feel like I'm flying forever now. I feel like previously this thing wouldn't take off like that. But perhaps the new update implemented new physics. So we do have spoilers. What do they... Oh, they look like that, do they? Okay. I wonder whether it would be worth like shoving a few of these like every so often or something. Will it keep us a bit more grounded? Only one way to find out. Okay, now it's taking off. No, 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 no. And it just, <laughs> it just goes so high. All right, so we're sort of halfway at the complexity of the vehicle. We are going to try this. Basically, I've added a load of spoilers just to the front. Because I feel like if the front doesn't take off, the rest of it won't take off, right? Because surely the only thing providing lift are those aerodynamic blocks at the front. So we've hit the sound barrier. There's a sonic boom. We're up to 1,100. Are we going sideways or is the floor just being weird? I don't know. We're up to 13. 100 miles per hour there uh, we haven't taken off though so that is good oh there's the other court there's the other edge of the map okay so now i am sort of thinking these create downforce i feel like being on the edge though we're getting like so much more bad aerodynamics if i were to replace like if i got rid of that top one and then shove that in there would that be better and would it actually work in terms of downforce i mean i could shove one at the front as well yeah let's try that so we're gonna delete all these other ones so we've just got like a downforce goop on the front let's see do we take off and will our speed go faster two questions that need answering all right there's the sonic boom oh no we're taking off we're taking off um i've just i've just ejected i am i'm doing the moonwalk <laughs> i got the world's slippiest shoes help me so let's compare what we had to having three of these on the side because we know five on either side we didn't take off will we take off with three on either side there's a sonic boom there's a thousand miles an hour okay there you go i think we're good i think we're good because speed we're smashing the speed we're up to 1400 miles per hour okay that's good okay so we got three on either side i'm gonna copy a load more engines and i'm gonna hope the extra power and speed speed won't make us take off uh it might do uh, let's push this thing to the max why are you doing that why are you doing that 
No, don't do that. Sod it. Maybe it will stop once we start moving. Speed is looking good. We hit the wall at 1,500 miles an hour there. Let's head up this way. So I want to get to the corner of the map. So let's hit it and see what speed we can get to. So we're up to 1,300. Everything has gone blurry. Oh my god, the screen's cracking. What the hell? Why did the screen crack? Right, we got to 1,900 miles an hour there. I am considering trying to make this smaller so it doesn't shake so violently. I could actually just delete that part and replace with the single wedges. So let's just get in. Does it vibrate? Yeah, it does vibrate. Okay, not ideal. Do I need to delete some of these? I mean, because what I was actually thinking I could do, it's a little bit cheeky, but I could delete like loads of the hover stuff. So if I say, I don't know, like, let's just try this. So let's just delete like all of those. So let's just get in here and see. Oh, look, it's more stable as well. It is more stable. So we'll give this a little go and see how it performs. But yeah, essentially, I'm going to be making a bridge because I'll remove the hover pads in the middle. Let's just keep an eye on this and see how it gets on it's vibrating vigorously <laughs> we're up to 1500 miles an hour 1600 1700 1800 we have broken apparently i don't know what's broken to 1900 oh nearly 2000 miles per hour so yeah literally what i'm thinking we we delete a load of these hover blocks in the middle let's go i don't know to there -ish. say goodbye to them look how many more parts we have now and then we can literally just copy these and just keep sticking them on the back. Well, I'm going to have to move the entire thing to the right because apparently we've run out of space. <laughs> oh, no, it's not looking. It's not looking good. What if we what if we just move straight away? No, we've lost the arse. We've lost the arse. OK, let's just delete a few of these at a time until we get to a point where it doesn't explode. All right, well, let's give this a bash. I know it's going to vibrate and fall apart a bit, but I feel like this is my best chance. Actually, it's not falling apart at all. Go on. Oh, no, no, it is. Yeah, it is. Ow, 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 ow. Why are you doing this? What are we on? 1,500 miles an hour. Come on. 1,700, 1,800, 1,900. Oh, what? Why did I... I got ejected. <laughs> got to 2,000 miles an hour and I got ejected. All right, well, maybe that wasn't the best idea, but maybe... Yeah, maybe just having the end not hovering could work. So you see, we've just got hover blocks, like, I guess for three quarters of it. Oh, this actually seems to be going fast. 1,500, 1,600. No, we're taking off. Wait, we're doing a corkscrew. Why are we corkscrewing? Right, well, I've made a few little tweaks. We've added a couple more fins at the front to hopefully keep us on the ground the entire time. No more corkscrewing. Hopefully, I've perfected the amount of hover blocks to engines. What are we up to? 1,600, 1,700. We're going for, come on, we get to 2,000. Surely, surely. 1,900. I don't think we're going to get to 2,000. I think the extra downforce. Yeah, we've hit the wall. Right, what if I try doing that just so there's less downforce because then i can actually add these that means there should be more downforce but the aerodynamic is just the like there's three because i put that one so close to the one in front you can see the green lines they're not acting on the second one so that should be just as fast as the previous version but just as stable as this current version so let's try this i got a good feeling about this one a very good feeling we're up to 1900 we got 2000 yes we cracked it 2000 oh we have taken off the we have taken off 2000 2,100 nearly. So yeah, whilst we can easily hit the sound barrier, we couldn't quite hit that previous record. I feel the physics may have changed with the update, but still a lot of fun. Um, we'll definitely be returning to this. If you enjoyed, boost like button. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and a crazy amount of speed. Bye, guys.